If you've never set up Live Link or you've never been able to set up Live Link for the Face app or VCam, check out this video. In this tutorial, I'll show you what I did to finally get it to work. Let's go over how to connect the Live Link Face app to Unreal. I'll be using a MetaHuman, so if you don't know how to add a MetaHuman to your project, check out my tutorial, MetaHuman, how to use and create a custom MetaHuman so that we can get started with this tutorial. First, we're going to go to plugins. So we're going to go to edit, plugins. Uh, we're going to need a few plugins. Um, first one we'll need is the AR kit, Apple AR kit, and the Apple AR kit face support plugin. Okay, uh, next we'll need the live link uh, plugin. Um, go ahead and might as well just click this in one as well. Okay, so now that you'll, you have those four enabled, um, you'll need to restart Unreal. Once you have Unreal restarted, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to project settings. Um, and then we're going to go down to rendering and scroll to the bottom half here. And uh, it's under advanced, the advanced dropdown. And then um, just from the frame buffer pixel format, change that to 8-bit. Okay, next we're, we're going to go to UDP messaging and just scroll all the way down. You'll see it here, UDP messaging. Um, and then under unicast endpoint, that's where you need to figure out what your computer's IP address is. So um, go to your Windows search and then just type in the command prompt here. Let me, I'm going to drag it over here. Type in IP config, just hit IP config. And then from there, you will see your IP address. Okay. Um, I'm going to make sure that's the same one. It looks like it is. So it matches. And go ahead and type in that same IP address, your computer's IP address here under tunnel unicast endpoint. Um, but don't include the uh, colon zero. And then under tunnel multicast endpoint, go to your iPhone, go to settings, go to Wi Fi. And then click on the, you know, like the eye with the circle around it, the eye icon for inf information. Um, scroll down, go to IP address, and then uh, type in your phone's IP address here. Okay. Next thing we'll need to do uh, is connect it to the MetaHuman. So go to Windows, go to Virtual Production, go to Live Link, Add Source. And then uh, click Apple AR Kit Source. Click Add. Okay. And our iPhone hasn't been connected yet. Go ahead and open up the download the app first. Actually, go to the App Store. Go to Live Link Face App. Go ahead and open up that app once you're done downloading that. And where you see under Streaming, and this is Live Link iPhone. Click on that. And under Targets, put in the your computer's IP address. So it'll be this, it should be the same as uh, this one here, UDP messaging, it'd be same as this one here. Once you do that, you go, you're gonna go click back, hit done, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if that went through. Click on BP and then your MetaHuman, and down here under LifeLink, um, this would be blank. You wouldn't see iPhone. Once it's connected, at least, you know, one time for your project, you'll see iPhone here and it'll stay there. Um, you also need to make sure you uh, enable this as well. Looks like my iPhone here is not listed here. Another thing that it could be is you have to check to see if you're on a VPN. You can, you'll need to disconnect from your VPN and uh, it could also be a firewall issue. So in your windows search and type in windows defender firewall click on that and then on the left side click on advanced setting and then uh, once you do that click on inbound rules click on new rule we're going to make a rule so that it allows um unreal to communicate and your computer to communicate with unreal so hit Click the port here, and uh, it'll be UDP messaging. So 
click UDP mess messaging and then specific local ports. Um, you'll want to put in these here, these ports. Okay. Should be good. Like there needs to be a space there. Click, click next. And then you're going to want to, uh, allow this connection hit next, allow the connection, go ahead and enable all that. And then, uh, name the rule to something like this could be like epic games life link and then hit finish i've already done that so um i have it here okay and then if you double click on it uh click ports you can see the port you can see the protocol type cdp so we are good okay so now i'm looking at my iphone through the live link app and uh it's now, um, you know, showing my movements through the meta human, my facial movements. Um, if you look to the bottom right, bottom left here, you'll see the iPhone is now listed. And to the left, you'll now see, um, you know, you can now see that it's listed here as well. Um, this, of course, you want to make sure this is checked. And um, that's pretty much it. Hope you uh, like the tutorial and have some fun with this. This is a really cool uh, tool. Um, and then we'll go ahead and move on to doing VCAM, LifeLink VCAM. Let's get started and connect the LifeLink VCAM to Unreal. Go to Edit, Plugins. We'll need to install a few plugins. One is Virtual camera enable that live link which we've already done in the previous tutorial so enable that and then um pixel streaming okay once you have those three plugins enabled go ahead and restart unreal once you start restart unreal um go here virtual production select vcam Okay, now you'll see VCAM below here. On the right, you'll see VCAM highlighted. Go to VCAM component. Make sure VCAM component is enabled. And also allow all input devices in a, is enabled. Um, download the app from the App Store. It's called LiveLink VCAM. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and click on the app. And then um, you'll see a place to punch in your computer's IP address. Go to your command prompt in Windows and then just type in uh, IP config. And it's pretty much the same kind of setup that we did for the uh, LiveLink face app. So the LiveLink face setup um, covered a lot of the things that we've already need to do uh, to get connected. So we have the plugins enabled. We have VCAM, cre we created the VCAM. Um, next we'll need to make sure that we are not connected to VPN. Um, and, uh, once we have all of that confirmed, hit connect and see if it works. If it doesn't work, go back to the live link base tutorial. And there, um, we went over the firewall issue in creating an inbound rule. So for that, we can use UDP messaging. For the VCAM, we actually need to have TCP enabled. We need to set up the firewall inbound rules a little bit different. What we'll need to do is just type in uh, Windows Defender Firewall in your Windows search. And then uh, you'll see this here. Go ahead and hit Advanced. And then on advanced, you go click on inbound rules and then find the inbound rule that you created for the live link face setup. Okay. Mine is here. I'm just going to double click it. And then you'll now see protocols and ports for that. Um, for the live link face setup, it was UDP that we allowed an exception for. So, for this setup, we need to choose TCP. OK, 
Okay, so just change that over, leave everything else the same, hit apply. And then once you do that, you should be able to connect. So let's go ahead and give that a try. I had to restart Unreal, but let's go ahead and try to connect now. Okay. Awesome. So it looks like we are now connected. Yeah, it looks like we have connection and now I can move around in real time, which is really cool. Hope you have fun with this tool and uh, thanks for checking out the video.